Hey, I hope you're doing well today. It is Wednesday the 13th, and I just want to share with you where we're going in God's Word for this Sunday, the 17th. As we get into God's Word, our message is titled, Following the Spirit is Following the Science. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If God is the Creator, and as Creator, if He's ingrained certain truths into the fabric of this world, both uh, from a physical sense, you know, the laws of gravity, etc., but also moral truths that are a part of, of human life, uh, both individually and communally, if God's the designer of all of these truths, and if science is about identifying truth, then following God's Spirit is going to be all about following the science because they're both supposed to lead you to truth. So we're going to get into that conversation. It's an important one for our day and age where a lot of people try to pit science and faith, you know, um, philosophy and psychology against theology, you know, th those things are completely inappropriate because science and faith, truth, uh, you know, from, a, from both the physical, social, moral perspective and the biblical perspective, they run right hand in hand with one another. Uh, and so all truth is God's truth. That's what we're going to look at. When we talk about following the Spirit, our key passage is 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verses 2 through 6. So let me read that to you. And, and this is about the mission that God has for you and for me, especially during this time of COVID. Yes, our churches, things have been awkward for us for the last year, um, but that doesn't mean the mission and the ministry of the church stops. As a matter of fact, during COVID, the mission and the ministry of the church are almost intensified. People are more open now to talking about God's truth, the end times, what's going on around us. They're more open to talking about that now almost than ever before uh, in recent history. So listen to this. You go out as an ambassador of God's truth, empowered by the Spirit, and fulfill these words of 2 Corinthians 3, 2 through 6. You are our epistle, written on our hearts, known and read by all men. You are manifestly an epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of flesh, that is, on the heart. And we have such trust through Christ toward God, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. It's what God has for you. It's what God has for me. That is life and it abundantly in the power of his Holy Spirit. So join us this week as we continue our series and our conversation about what's going on in our larger culture. And as we talk about how following the Spirit of God is following the science. God bless you. We love you in the Lord.